Hey guys, Dave here. Today on Steel Euphoria, thought we'd take a look at this little fella here from Rough Rider Knives. They call this one the Heavy Forge Stockman. And I believe there are two blades in this series. Uh, there's this Stockman pattern, and there is also a full-size trapper. So you can pick and choose which pattern you like best if you have interest in them. Uh, but I wanted to bring a closer look at this one here today. I know this one has been out for a while. First time I was able to pick one of these up. And I must say I am very, very impressed with the Heavy Forge Stockman pattern from Rough Rider. And why do they call it Heavy Forge? Well, you'll see here in a minute. But before we do, this little guy here measures in at three and a half inches closed and has an overall weight of 3.2 ounces. Uh, quite hefty for a little, little Stockman pattern. But let's take a close look at this guy here and we'll find out why. Look at that shot of that beautiful brown bone. Beautiful smooth brown bone. This little salt and pepper, little dark, dark spots, light spots. Just absolutely gorgeous. You see the back side's maybe a little bit lighter than the shield side. And if I didn't mention here, let's take a look at the shield on there. You got your classic diamond rough rider shield looks like she sets in there real nice and you're getting your first glance at why they call this a heavy forge look at the thickness of those springs just absolutely incredible incredible thick stock they used on here look at the stock look at the spines on those blades those things just mean business I don't recommend prying with your knife, but in a case where you need to, boy, it'd be nice to have this little guy in your pocket. Anyway, how's our back springs? Any voids? Any gaps? Any Monday morning, how you doing? There's maybe a little bit of gap here on top between the, the liner and the, the bone. She doesn't look too bad. There's really no major gaps uh, in these springs at all. Just really, really beautifully done by Rough Rider on this one. And again, man, the thickness of that. Look at that. So my question was when I ordered this, how is she going to walk and talk with the thickness of those blades? Well, we're going to find out. So let's get into her. Let's get into that main blade. It's got full match strike poles there. Got a half stop, beautiful little half stop there. And oh, just a glorious opening snap on that fella. Just beautiful. And you see the, the hammer forge design that they put in that blade. Just absolutely beautiful. And these are carbon blades. These are good old carbon steel from the Rough Rider factory. We've been asking for more carbon, and they've been doing it. So we, uh, we do appreciate that, guys. Thank you. But just a beautiful shot of that clip point. And again, the thickness of that spine there. Just absolutely solid. No side to side. No up and down. Just beautiful, beautiful, solid. Working. Working little blade if I did see one. See if I can get a shot of the stamp there. You got your RR and your Rough Rider stamp underneath there. Just beautiful, beautiful looking, wicked looking blade on that guy. Really, really nice. I keep a little bit of oil on these blades, so they're going to have a, a light coat, so they won't turn too many colors on me. Let them age over time with me. Keep that shine there on her for a while anyway. Anyway, how's our closing snap here? Got a nice, nice little jump to the half stop there. We like that. And a beautiful snap on that close. I don't know how they managed to do that, but they did. She swings right by that secondary blade. Doesn't hit her. Looks like she's going to, but she doesn't. Anyway, let's get into that secondary. What do you got on the secondary? We got ourselves a nice little coping blade, half stop, with a lovely snap on her. Absolutely. We got a beautiful coping blade. 
Talk about a box box opener if I ever did see one. Again, you got your RR stamp. And again, the thickness. Look at the thickness on that guy. Any side to side on this one? Not at all. She's solid. Solid as rock. No up and down. Wow. Really, really impressed so far with the Heavy Forge. Stockman from Rough Rider. Nice little half stop on that close. How about a full close on that coping blade? She sits down comfortably. She's not a gator snapper, but she sits down real nice for us. Not bad at all. And how about our last but not least, the old Lazy Spay. Boy, she's got a pull on her. I'd say that's a good seven. Holy mackerel. And a glorious, glorious little snap on that guy. Look at that little Spay. She's not a lazy old Spay. She's got some attitude on her. I like that. That's going to be a good little user there. Again, your stock. And just for comparison here, let me grab a a case sow belly that I just happen to have sitting around here. And I can give you the, kind of do a side to side there. You can see the thickness of the case sow belly versus the thickness of the stockman. So she definitely does have an advantage in that area. I'll let her ride there. Anyway, how's the closing action on this big old fella here? Not jumping to the half stop by any means, but you can fill her stop in there. Boy, she's got a snap on her. Holy mackerel, that could be the, the strongest closing spay blade I might have ever come across. Nice strong pull, nice nice hard snap on the close. Don't really see much rubbing going on there. Not bad at all, guys. I'm going to give credit where credit is due, and they pulled this one off just absolutely fantastic. I've always said, for the money you pay for what you get in return on a Rough Rider knife, just really cannot be beat. Look at that. If you're a fan of brown bone, that's going to be right up your alley. Nice smooth brown bone on that. Guys, pick you up a... Heavy forward stocking pattern from Rough Rider. Cost you a few bucks, get you a little pocket tank in there, carry it around, put her to good use. Guys, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for sticking around, and until next time.